This video is about why you might want to consider becoming a nurse entrepreneur or having a side hustle as a nurse. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Lisa Chapel. I'm a doctor of nursing practice, an associate professor, and studying to have my board certification as a health and wellness nurse coach. I make videos for nursing professionals, students, and caregivers on how to become more empowered and resilient. Let's get started. I'm gonna give you the top three reasons why I think you should become a nurse entrepreneur or that you should start a side hustle as a nurse, as well as the top three challenges I anticipate that you will face. Just to get things started, I am brand new exploring creating my own side hustle. And I will link my website below as well as have it appear somewhere over here to show you an idea of what I am going to be doing. Right now, as many of you know, I am currently studying to have my board certification as a health and wellness nurse coach. And so I'm interested in starting my own business or my own thing going on the side as a nurse coach. I am also really interested in education, being a nurse educator, and so in the future I would love to create digital courses. In this process of creating my own business, I have thought about why you might want to be a nurse entrepreneur and or if you are a nurse to have a side hustle going. The first reason is because it gives you the freedom and the autonomy to create your own career. What I mean by this is you get to to identify a problem that needs a solution that maybe it's a challenge that you've overcome at some point in time and through your business you can create an income helping people solve this problem. I think nurses are so well suited to become entrepreneurs because there's so many problems surrounding health and wellness that nurses could help solve and that's what I intend to do with my business and I want you to be thinking about what are some things some problems that you've seen that you could help solve and let me give you some examples of nurse entrepreneurs who have started businesses to help people solve problems so I saw there's a nurse who helps DNP students doctoral of nursing practice students create their capstone and helps them write their capstone project synthesis and put that together and write up their translational research process and walks them through from start to finish and because this was a problem that was identified that this nurse entrepreneur could help solve and so it became a business another example helping nurses to find jobs remote jobs for example helping nurses to find remote jobs that's another example of a nurse business. Another fantastic example, which these are new and they didn't exist when I was in nursing school in 2004, and that is IV hydration bars. What an amazing idea. Um, I have to tell you, it wasn't me, but I'd heard of nursing students who might go out and have a little too much fun on the weekend and need some hydration and there might have been some starting of IVs and hanging uh, electrolytes, fluids and electrolytes. Like I said, wasn't me. But what an interesting idea then to create a business of that when nurses have the skills to start IVs and to monitor IV therapy, that this is a really cool business uh, that nurses could start. Other examples, lactation consultant. This could be a whole business, helping new mothers learn to breastfeed. Or a pregnancy navigator, helping new moms through pregnancy or the for the first three months after having a baby. These are challenges and problems that nurses could really speak to. Another example, foot problems that nurses could go and have site visits to help with foot issues. For example, diabetic foot ulcers. So there are so many issues that nurses could help 
solve and having a side business or creating a business out of this is such a great idea. The second reason I'm really interested in creating my own business is to create an area where I get a lot of fulfillment. I think that this is an area that's really lacking for nurses. When you work for an institution or you work for an organization that you're bogged down in policy to the point where it might be difficult to fill your cup anymore. I know that bedside nurses are experiencing this and I know I experienced it as a bedside nurse. I also know that nurses who pursue other areas in nursing also feel this. For example, as a faculty of nursing, I do get a certain sense of fulfillment from teaching my students. However, when I envision myself long term, I don't see that I want to retire or um, I, I guess to go out giving my life's blood to uh, the university setting and to academia and to the committees and the politics that's involved in that. I want to create my own fulfillment and I see being an entrepreneur in nursing or having a side hustle even to make up some income, to put in my efforts and my focus, not just feeling like I'm giving it all to the office, but feeling like I have something that I'm working towards to, to help and to serve in a different way and to help people, but also generating an income from it. That is super appealing to me in terms of being an entrepreneur. The third reason is to be my own boss. And I know that I haven't even experienced all of the pitfalls and the challenges with this, but it's it sounds amazing just to have my own business and to be my own boss. Throughout my career, I've always reported to someone else and I'm ready. I'm ready to create something of my own. And I think you might be ready as well. So please comment below. Are you ready? Do you have an idea for starting a side hustle? What are your ideas? What are the problems that you see? And give me three ideas for what are some businesses that you could start around this issue that people have that you could solve using your skills as a nurse and using your license as a nurse. So now for the three challenges that I anticipate in having a side hustle or being your own entrepreneur in within nursing. The first is that it takes a lot of work and it's a huge learning curve to learn how to set up your own website, to learn about marketing, to learn about creating email lists, to start producing content, especially if you're looking at an online business. And that doesn't even matter if it's an online business or if it's a product-based business. And either way, you're going to want to be creating regular content. Producing regular, valuable content is a skill that has to be learned. You have to put yourself out there to be vulnerable, to be messy, I guess you could say, because you're not gonna be perfect starting out, but the only way to get better is just to do it. And so writing a blog or making regular videos is a part of building a brand and marketing for your business as an entrepreneur. And this is a skill that takes practice huge amount of time and effort and also I guess an investment up front that may or may not pay off in the long run and so it's a big steep learning curve and that's definitely a challenge associated with starting your own business. The second challenge is having to overcome your fears. Fears of putting yourself out there. Fears of failure. Fears wondering am I even good enough? Do I even have the skills it takes? Would anyone even care? Would anyone even want to buy services that I have to offer? Can I even generate an income from this? And so facing fears, and I'm kind of in the process of that right now, and then I guess waiting to see what happens in the long run and if it's going to be worth it. So I'll let you know maybe in five years <laughs> when I follow up on this video. The third challenge I think particularly for nurses starting businesses is that in nursing school we weren't taught to start our own business. You're taught in nursing school to be an employee, typically of a hospital. 
you're kind of taught about other roles that are available within nursing, but you're not necessarily taught that you can start your own business. I hope that's changing, and I certainly intend to teach my students in a different way. When I talk about roles of nurses, I am going to definitely highlight the ability to solve problems through new businesses. So in nursing school, we don't typically get business education. I know I did get some in my master's as well as my doctorate, um, but did it set me up for starting my own business? Mm, I don't really think so. And I don't even know that I was thinking along those lines at that time. And so I'm having to learn from scratch and am brand new at learning all these skills I need to develop as a business owner. And so that is certainly a challenge that you'll have to face, but do I think it's worth it? I think absolutely it's worth it. I think that there's so many areas where nurses could use their creativity and that they have a particular eye for the problems that are out there as well as potential solutions. So I challenge you to start thinking about that as you see some of the issues, some of the problems, some of the challenges that you'd be thinking about what kind of business could solve this problem and is it something that I could consider pursuing? There's a lot of help out there. I have to say you can take uh, digital online courses to really help you learn throughout the process and I think it's something worth working on on the side. It will take time and effort but hey if you are motivated I really think that you can do it and I think that you should consider it and consider going on this journey with me in starting to formulate, think about, and implement your own business. I hope this was helpful to you. Don't forget to like this video if it helped you out. Click that subscribe button. I do release videos every Wednesday. Also hit the bell for notifications. And I will see you in the next video.